hello guys and welcome to my channel In today's video we're going to look at how to use the new bing ai so as we all know bing is launching its ai but at the moment it's at the review stage so they are contacting people to start using it and then give them responses ask relevant questions and get complete answers okay this is something similar to chat gpt if you have used chat gpt before this is very similar but in fact this is higher than chat gpt because as we all know chat gpt is limited to only data that is up to 2021 but the new bing ai has data up to date so you can work with it up to date whatever you see whatever question you ask it's going to give you answer up to date whatever is existing in the field is going to search around and it will give you up-to-date information another advantage of the bing ai is that it gives you its sites its sources okay so you find the references to all the sources where it's found all the information it will put in all the references for you for further inquiry or for further research you can consult those places and you'll be able to interact more and find out more information or more research about what you're working on and additionally bing ai is so friendly and conversational that it gives you the answers so fast the responses are exceptional i thought i have seen it all with chat gpt and notion ai but with this bing ai i think the new ai world is the new ai revolution is completely on so let's start by getting to understand how to get access to this new bing ai because at the moment like i said it is at the research stage so you have to join the waitlist so when you come to your bing browser or you come to your edge browser microsoft edge because it's powered by microsoft so you have to be on your windows or you can come to the edge browser and you can come all the way here and just put in bing.com forward slash chat and it's going to bring you over here so you see introducing the new bing ask real questions get complete answers chat and create okay so you have to join a wait list at this moment you have to join a wait list then it's going to take some time maybe two or three days then to yeah, contact you and then give you access to the new bing to start trying i've joined the wait list and i have gotten the access so once you, you got the email letting you in to review this very feature uh, you will be able to sign in so but you have to sign in with your microsoft so all you need to do is to come to Bing browser, okay? You come to stillbing.com forward slash chat, okay? Bing.com forward slash chat, and it will bring you over here, okay? You you can see this information. Uh, chat mode is currently available. It's only available when you have access to the new Bing. So this is what it will tell you, and then these are the key. It's just an example of questions and responses. But then you have to join the waitlist, okay? So you have to join. Uh, the waitlist so once you are clear to pass then you can come over here and you can come all the way to once you receive the email to participate for example let me show you my email once you receive the email uh, you are in welcome to the new bing then you can start exploring okay so once you keep on start exploring it's going to bring you over here so once you're here you have to sign in with your microsoft account or with yeah with your microsoft account or the account you use to register i use my google account to register so I have to use that account to get access because that's what they are going to give access to. So you click on sign in and then you click on sign in with your personal account and you can go ahead and put in the details. Okay, you can just go ahead, put in the password, you can stay signed in and then you are here in the new Bing platform. So once you are here, you'll be able to see that there are even sample questions that you are given that you can ask this Bing AI. Okay the key thing you should pay attention to is that you ask your questions short or long or anything in between it doesn't matter but the more precise you are the more precise you ask the better the answer okay so you can see some sample questions here that you can give it a try on your own and the answers are very very fantastic okay so to start using this all you need is you can just go ahead and ask simple question like create a free course menu for me or help plan my special anniversary trip or what art do you think uh, let's say can you help me get fit okay you can just try it on bing try it on bing and it will just bring you over here oh, you can see the response here sure i can help you with that based on the web web search based on the website result here is a possible workout plan for you you can just click on this and you'll be able to see the other responses that it's given just like the way you interact with the normal chat gpt but this one is very very direct also you can see it is still giving you the push-ups uh dips where you have planks 
and many more Keep crunches you can see it is giving you detail of how the plant is going to be side plank now one thing you should pay attention to is on all its responses you can see it is giving you the, the reference point when you click on this it's going to take you to the source where it found all this information bicycle crunches uh, side plank you can see cool down for five minutes with some stretching so as child's pause a cobra pause cat cow pause and spinal twist so you can see you can follow this plan and it will help you to get fit so this is one of its response and at this stage you need to understand that uh, this is at the generic stage okay at the generic search stages you can do that even on the bing browser directly and you can check the response if it's okay you can give it a thumbs up because this is at the research stage so it's going to help them a lot and if it's not okay with you you can give it a thumbs down and they will still take note of all that and take it as a, as a part of their correction and you can see when you click on this you'll be able to see the source see 30 minutes full body no equipment workout this is where it cited this all this it picked all this and then you can see this one also once you hover over the number it's going to give you the source the website where it picked all of this information okay so you, ha you can you have the option to ask it to do more less chat okay that's when you will chat in, in detail or you can say thank you uh, that sounds like a good workout plan can you show me how to do push-ups correctly and it will show you what are the benefits of doing crunches and it will show you you can continue with your chat over here with the conversation over here or if you have the option you can just go if you like you can still come over here and say chat okay when you come over here and say chat or you come here and i say let's chat it's going to take you to the same place so when you come here and say chat it's going to bring you over here okay so by just clicking chat you can see the the question okay this is where it's just bring you once you click on chat it's going to bring you over here to so ai powered copilot for the web uh, ask complex questions get better answers and, and get creative inspiration so it depend on you there are different types of uh, choose a conversation style you can be creative more creative you can be more balanced or you can be more precise okay so in each case if you hover over it you see what it's do uh, what it is capable of doing so let's start over responses are original imaginative creative uh, creating surprise and entertainment for you and then you have balance let's start over responses are reasonable and coherent balancing accuracy and creativity in conversation then we have precise uh, responses are factual and concise prioritizing accuracy and relevancy for you okay so this is how you, whichever one you, you think you can work on you can just navigate around and you get the responses according to that style okay but for now we can go with the balance i think which is the best this is the first question we ask it can we plan me a workout for my arms and abs with no sit-ups and no gym you see this is a sample response that it has given you like i have said this is one of eight you can regenerate a response if you want you can regenerate a response if you want and you can ask more questions from here but then before we go deep into this uh, let me tell you one more thing that uh, uh, the limitations some of the limitations of this Bing ai uh, for example the first one is you can take a maximum of 2000 characters okay as you start asking it question okay you can take a maximum of 2000 characters and that's the first one the second one is it can take a maximum of five messages in a given conversation okay for a given conversation it can take a maximum of five messages at this point and then the third one is it can take a maximum of 50 messages in, in one day at least like 50 conversations in a day okay so you can just be mindful of that it takes about 50 conversations in one day and then uh, one last key limitations to this um to this bing ai is that it doesn't too much like personal questions so don't ask it too much questions about who it is and what it does it doesn't like those kind of questions but it can still respond to you politely but mind you to just take note of that we don't ask too much personal questions so basically this is the beginning and at any given point if you push around here this is a new topic it is going to give you a new topic and you can always switch around between the chat and the search okay so you can be able to see what and what is is the difference you can always navigate around usually in searches you have to be working with many links okay you can open this link open this link open this link and try to see to coordinate the points the ideas but when you come to chat it's going to give you a summarized version of all those links and it will answer the questions politely and very nicely Okay, so this is the beginning. Uh, let's look at other features also that it can do for you.